but my trunk stay ever ready. Assault and battery, if you scared, you never ready. All right, today's video is going to be a little bit different than uh, the usual. I get a lot of questions on my Facebook, and uh, I thought instead of just, you know, messaging the guy back, I'm more than one person probably has the same question, probably wants to know what my thoughts are on following subjects. So if you have a question, I'll probably start doing this more often instead of me having to think about what to talk about. But uh, I literally get questions about WrestleMania, about just like current events, Raw, SmackDown. A lot of it's about Jinder Mahal, to be honest. Hey, Jinder Mahal won, what do you think, what do you think? And I literally have an answer, just copy and paste it, just control V, control V. <laughs> but this one's from Daniel, and uh, he asked, uh, I'll just read it. Hey, Rafter, I was wondering uh, what your thoughts are on the Bray Wyatt JoJo affair. Now, to me, I have zero sympathy for Bray Wyatt. I feel this man, uh, being a married married person for a long time, he has two kids and he has a hot wife, a now ex-wife. But for him to go off with someone like JoJo, just... Um, just, I don't know. I don't know what the man's thinking. Because, as a guy, you should know, JoJo is one of those people that, you know, you just... She's... And just, that's it. That's all she's good for. She's not a wifey material type person. And ever since the Total Diva days, I you could see it. The way she carried herself. The way she looks. The way she acts. Just one big slut. One hoe. You know, JoJo is, is a hoe, in my opinion. And for her to be fully okay with cheating. Uh, with, uh, you know, screwing around with a married guy for over a year now, apparently. <laughs> just shows the no morals, no compassion, just no head, really no brain. Bray's wife, Samantha, went on Instagram or some some social media platform and wrote this big paragraph. And you got to feel bad for this woman because, you know, how, you don't even, he doesn't even tell you. You find out through like the grapevine. It's like social media. You find out like, oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> your husband's been uh, screwing around with this woman who's probably like half your age. Uh, big old booty on her, but that's all she's good for. And you gotta feel bad for him with Father's Day just not too long ago, or like last week. It's like, hey, man did this, and next, the week after, it's... You celebrate the man who, the father of your children. Things like this always blow over, that's the, uh... That's, that's not a sad thing, it's just the reality, it's keep Bray off TV for a bit, or, you know... Right now, it may be a hot subject, but like, five months, six months from now, no one's gonna even care. Uh, remember Seth Rollins, a little affair he had? You had John Cena's, you had Randy Orton's, there's Undertaker's from back in the day. Just, a, just wrestlers do these things. It's like you're on the road and a lot of marriages don't work out. Just ask Ric Flair. You know, this man's been through six or seven <laughs> at least. Bray's a guy. You know, I remember seeing him. Uh, was it WrestleMania 32 with his whole family? You know, he had his kid on his on his little shoulders. And it's like, look at that, a big old happy family. And now this comes out. It's like, man, guess they, uh, guess things aren't always as what they seem. And it's a shame. But uh, I have no... Combat, no sympathy at all because I've been in Samantha's situation, Bray's wife, and in Bray's situation. Uh, I've been cheated on, whatever it's kind of what it is, what it is. But the person, and then I'm oh, in Bray's situation where there's a woman like JoJo, uh, you, you, you see it, it's like that's like a prime nugget, you know, it's good. She yeah, makes this whole thing like, oh, I want to be with you, we can do this and that. And I'm talking straight from like experience right now. Um, but you know, they're nothing special, they're just. They just want to, that's it. They just want to, like, you know, and see you later. They're not people that you want to commit with. Now, unfortunately, Bray Wyatt's trying to make, I forgot how, this, how, the, uh, how the phrase goes, make, like, a, a hoe, a housewife, something like that. So that's what Bray's doing, and it's going to backfire, because, you know, it just doesn't happen. You had a good thing going, and now, uh, and she put it in her little Instagram post, or wherever the post was, that you'll never find someone as loyal as me, and I agree 100%. Because uh, if you're if you're looking for a wife at a JoJo, it ain't gonna happen. Guarantee you that. But that's all. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me, you guys have my Facebook. It's in the uh, description box. facebookcom slash aab seven seven seven. Leave your questions, and uh, I guess if it's if it's okay, if I if I have a proper if I have a five minute video worth uh, of an answer, maybe I'll make a video on it. So I'll see you guys.